<laughs> right, hello, welcome to game number five of the Booty Pirates. Hopefully not going to lose my perfect record against Bert in CCL. Um, I don't know who God in here is. Let's have a look, see how good he is. 4-0-1. Shit! He's 4 0 one with Bert. He must be, uh, he must be some kind of savant. Wow. Oh, this is bad times. Oh, no, imagine the shame of losing to Bert. Oh, no, this could be... The worst day of my life. <laughs> the day I lose to Bert. <laughs> oh no. They've got they've got Dauntless to hit the Black Oaks, haven't they? And they're fast. Oh no. He's four zero one though, that there, Phil. Oh with Bert! <laughs> The absolute humiliation of losing to Bert, I don't think I could stand it. <laughs> simple Jack! <laughs> like that! You remember Simple Jack in, uh, what's it called? Uh, there's that fucking film, isn't there? What's the film? Uh... That's just a normal name by the looks of it. That was a that was a fucking movie, wasn't it? What was the movie called? Uh, Tropic Thunder. Yeah, Tropic Thunder. <laughs> Simple Jack. <laughs> oui, oui, oui. <laughs> he could be a look a dog. That's the worst. That's the worst nightmare, though. A look a dog, isn't it? <laughs> Little bamboo. <laughs> a tragedy. I like Tropic Thunder. I thought it was really good. I always choose to kick, yeah, not all. when trying to win, especially at low TV. Hello, good day, Nick. Um, or should I say, good day, good day, Nick. <laughs> um, yeah, the thing I was, I'm going to do a video on when to kick and when to receive, actually, um, because they were talking about it in Rebel Rookie League. I might use the Rebel Rookie League people to ask them about, like, you know, what videos to make for YouTube. It's a good idea, isn't it? Um, because obviously I don't know what they don't know. <laughs> you know, that's the that's the thing, isn't it? Oh shit, he's got a garda. Fuck. Always receiving punch. No, no, uh, no, Matto. That's that's not always receiving punch at all. Because the 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 reason that kicking kicking is is what kicking offers is information, isn't it? That's the thing. If if you kick, you know. Um, what you have to do, don't you? If you want to win or get the draw, or whatever, it just gives you it just gives you that information of how to how to uh, how to how to sculpt your drive, isn't it? That's the thing. Whereas it, you're in the unknown. If if you receive, you just have to stall out till turn eight. You have to. You just have to. <laughs> Whereas if you've kicked and you're going in at nil nil, um. Then you have to stall out. But if you're going one nil up, um, then you don't have to score or whatever. If you one nil up as elves, then you can score early. But you don't have to stall it out. So, particularly elves, and obviously with elves you've got the one turn as well. Um, so like, but yeah, things if things go wrong, they go wrong. But they're, they're going wrong into the unknown. That's the thing, right, BZL? If you one nil up after defense like I generally would only kick if I feel like my team is better or my players better than my opponent um, as well so like that's also an aspect of it I guess like if you think you're worse and you're kind of just going for a draw um, it depends how happy you are with the draw but I guess if you're happy with the draw then receiving and you know you've got quite a bashy team then just receiving and getting the bash in is pretty good isn't it Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting, isn't it? I don't know. That's what I. That's what I like about it. Though. It's the, it's the knowledge, isn't it? Like that's that's the big thing about the kicking is you've got the knowledge of what to do, the information of what to do on your drive. Oh man, big three D B coming here. Hopefully.
<laughs> the end of the fucking world, I know, right? Armour 9 not breaking. Yeah. What the actual fuck? Damn, no 3db. Yes, Lithenian, yeah. Unless somebody has downloaded the OFL logo. Oh shit, he's fouling. Well, there you go, there's the AV break. Power Apple against fucking Burt's. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> have you seen how many games Christopher and bloody Shawnee have played? <laughs> Absolute mad cunts. I could blitz him into him. Or I could just go for a mighty blow hit, hit smash. So Shawnee only just he just finished one uh, in between me starting the screen starting the stream. Oh the extra block. Glorious. The extra block getting him. Get out of it. You big twat. Up, up, peace, peace, peace. Shithead undead. <laughs> well, it's an interesting question, Lemon is Good. Because, um. It's an interesting question because they're all good at different points, aren't they? Like, all linemen. When we, when we made our. Uh, when we played. It depends what situation. Context, situation. There's all sorts of things. Like, you know, 50k linemen. Just as meat slabs, they're the they're the good meat they're good meat slabs. Um, at low TV when they're armor nine, and at mid TV when they're armor nine, not so much when Claw comes out, they're not so good. But Zons are really good at low TV, not so good when there's tackle and mighty blow around. Um, elf elf linemen can always do something, can't they? So like they're much worse at being meat slabs, but really good at like running around and winning the game. Zombies are much better meat slabs at high TV because they've got regen. Dwarf linemen, yeah, dwarf linemen are just the best, really, aren't they? They're, they're just better than orc, lime, uh, orc linemen. However, if you want positionals, it depends if you want positionals, right? Because this is the thing, it, it just depends. Because if you could have... If you could have orc linemen to get, you know, an extra war dancer on the team or whatever, then it could be worth it, couldn't it? But yeah, dwarf linemen. Dwarf linemen are really good. Especially good loners as well, aren't they? Because... Elves. Elf linemen, you might want to do something. Whereas dwarf linemen just punch things. And that's all they do. And get punched. And it's fantastic. Yeah, as a loner, definitely dwarf linemen. No contest for dwarf linemen as loners. Yeah, goats are great linemen, aren't they? Because they can be killers. They, they, they can be compositionals. I hate Skaven linemen. They are the worst linemen in my opinion. <laughs> the absolute worst. And probably the thing that stops stops Skaven being OP. <laughs> okay, yeah, Snotlings are the worst line, but you know what I mean. Like out of real, okay, I guess you you could argue a 10k for movement that's better than Hobgoblins and Thralls, but you know what I mean. Uh, skinks, Skinks are decent line. Yeah, exactly. If you could have, if you could have three, if you could just have three all climbing on a Skaven team for the LOS, it'd be incredible. <laughs> oh, 
I don't want to blitz him, do I? He could go there and I could blitz him. I kind of want to blitz him even though he's got dodge. Blitz him though, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna blitz him. Oh, in that case, let's put him there. Put him there. Fuck off. Oh, fuck off. I don't want to skull, but that's the only bad result. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it is nice when they piss away rerolls, isn't it? But it might get him. Might get him on turn eight. Hello, Fault Force. Hello, everybody as well. Today. Oh, you so do have a fancy new badge. Glorious. <laughs> crazier than his record implies, yeah. Maybe that's how you've got to win with Burks. I don't know. Despite having done it, I have no idea what it takes to win with. <laughs> with fucking Burks. <laughs> Yeah, me too, Shawnee, yeah. You've kind of got to. Cheeky potato, innit? Some more GFIs, let's go. Pointless GFIs. <laughs> Instant pointless GFIs. Hey, one in nine. <laughs> Interesting. Fuck, it wasn't pointless, I've got a GFI to get him now. Fuck. Or maybe not. Push him into him. Into him. Punch him. One in nine. Fuck me. Honestly, I make a fucking one in nine instead of a instead of a one in six and get fucked for it. Jesus Christ! <laughs> fucking annoying, isn't it? Fucking blood bowl. Oh, I got the pal! Outrageous! And the FE break! Oh, baby! If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking... Three TZs on it, let's just like punch it then. And try and fucking play better, eh? <laughs> Instant one in nine! <laughs> Pow. <laughs> oh, he wrestled it. Try again. 
knock down. No. Punch him with mighty blow next turn. Yes. Herp derp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. Afraid of mighty blow, yep. Yeah. Yeah, but time maybe ran out because he was scared, seeing as he acted instantly as soon as the as soon as he got his turn. Hello, Tony. Oh, there's the skull. Oof. Yes, champ. <laughs> Unlikely to concede with a 4 0 1 record. <laughs> Fucking poggers. <laughs> Get fucked, you little cunt. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> yes, mighty box. <laughs> Fucking get on. <laughs> Let's fucking do this. Fucking long dong shivers. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Skuro, yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it. Stop riots. Boring. Who need orc, uh, orc cheerleaders? Also, I should be sponsored by Orchidas, I've just realised. Let's get sponsored by Orchidas. Alright. God, that was amazing. <laughs> what a team! 5 and all. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.